What's up y'all, Mike Builds here, back with another video for you guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I built my solar carport, pergola, whatever you wanna call it. Essentially, the idea was to get all my solar panels off the ground in my backyard because I kinda just had them thrown on the ground for years now and just do something, come up with a better solution as well as add shade. So I'm gonna show you how I built this. It wasn't extremely complicated, it took a little bit of effort, a little bit of time, a little bit of money, it wasn't terrible. If I had to do it again, there's definitely some things I learned. Just a warning, and I do apologize for this, this is totally on me about three quarters of the way through the video, the footage gets very shaky because I forgot to turn the hyper stabilization back on on my GoPro. It makes a huge difference. I had it turned off to do the time lapses I did and I didn't realize how much of a difference it made until I went and watched the footage again. I had to include the footage because I had no other footage. So I do apologize for that if you notice the footage gets real shaky. But anyways guys, enjoy the video. Let me know what y'all think of the carport and what I could have done better. And as always, leave your questions in the comments and I'll get back to you guys. Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be building a solar panel pergola. I'm kind of tired of having my solar panels on the ground like this. They're taking up a lot of my yard. And then these panels right here are kind of mounted really janky and I'm not really happy with it. So I went down to the local metal supply store and I got a bunch of 14 gauge square tubing. So my goal is to try to build something that holds five panels in length by two panels. So it'll be five and five together. And I wanna put it off the ground and make almost like a shaded area with all the panels together. So that's kind of the idea. That's kind of the goal. I'm kind of just winging this. I don't really have a plans or how I'm gonna do this yet, but I guess step one is I need to move all the panels I have currently, take everything off, clear the yard out. And then we're gonna start laying out our tubing and start trying to figure out how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna start doing that. It is pretty hot today. So definitely have to wear gloves touching these panels, but that's it. I'm gonna get everything disconnected and move first and start with that and get us a good area cleaned off to start laying everything out. All right, I got all the solar panels moved. I got the old racks over here. These are still good racks, so I'm probably not gonna, gonna cut them up right away, but I am gonna end up probably using some of this material on the new rack if I have to. And then as you can see, this is the nasty old rack that I've been using for years. I still gotta move that panel. But yeah, it's gonna be so much nicer to get the panels actually off the ground and have a lot more yard space and have a nice shaded area underneath. It's kind of the whole idea. I do maybe wanna to try to put it above my porch, but not sure how I'm gonna do that just yet. So I think just for right now, we're just gonna put it right here and late, maybe later we can move it if I really want to. But anyways, I'm gonna end up building probably half of it on the ground and then standing it up and then having to put all the panels on the top. So that's gonna be challenging because these panels are very heavy, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. So. I'm going to go and get all this cleaned up, get that other panel moved, kind of clean the yard up a bit and start laying out our material for how we're going to do this. Alrighty guys, small update. We got the frame pretty much all done. So now I'm going to start adding the, I guess you could call it like, I would call them like a rafter or something. That's going to go from this way to this way in order to mount the panels to themselves because the panel has the holes there. So we're going to put bars going across. We're going to make four of those. And then I'm probably going to do some going this way underneath those bars in order to add structural integrity and then i'm also probably going to add another piece of tube on the longer ends just to, just to help brace that up so i think right now i'm going to go ahead and get marked where i need to put those tubes then i'm going to pick this up move all the panels and put this on jack stands that way i can weld underneath it and start bracing it up all right guys quick update on the solar rack i got the frame all done i got the gussets that go across to hold the actual panels themselves all that's coming out pretty good so far now the problem i'm dealing with is this tubing because it's only 14 gauge it's kind of sort of flimsy, so I'm going to have to back it with something. So I went to the steel store. This is inch and a quarter by quarter inch, but I bought some inch and a half by quarter inch. So my plan is to put a piece at the bottom facing vertically up to give it some more stiffness. So I think I'm going to do that all the way around on the bottom, as well as run a couple more pieces like that and then run some support on those just to stiffen this thing up a bit because I don't want this thing to be saggy or flexy or whatever. And right now I think it would flex. I actually had to put something in the middle right here just to hold the center up because of how much this thing kind of bounces around. So 14 gauge is nice because it's not as heavy, but unfortunately it's also not as strong. And I do believe once I get it all gusseted and you know welded solid, it'll be mint. I don't think I'll have any issues. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a progress update on what we have so far. So the basic shape is done and I'm actually really happy with it. This was the hardest to get to this part. I believe I think it's all kind of downhill from there. Also, I'm not going off of any plans. I'm literally just winging this and just building as I go. So that makes things a little bit more tricky just because I don't have a blueprint to follow, but it's starting to come together. This is the basic idea I had in my head and it looks pretty good so far. I'm, I gotta say, honestly, I'm happy with it. Anyways, that's it. Just small update. I'm gonna keep working and uh, once I get some of that stiffening material on it, I'll show y'all like a before and after to show you how much better it will actually be for the structural integrity of this thing. All right, guys, just a small update. I did go ahead and flip this thing over, which was a lot harder than I thought. This thing's a lot heavier than it looked. I went ahead and put flat bar in this configuration to stiffen up the sides. Thinking back on it now, what I should have done 
has done more of a truss style. Basically add a bar, maybe two inches, three inches away, and then brace it all and put another bar over that. That plywood made this a lot stronger, but I'm kind of learning as I go. And I think this is gonna work just fine. I still have to trim the flat bar here and on the other side, do a bunch more finish welding. And I think this thing's gonna be pretty good. As far as the legs go, originally I was going to use this two inch by two inch by 14 gauge material for the leg. But after feeling how heavy that the rack's going to be, plus, you know, 10 solar panels, I weigh 50 pounds each. I went and scooped some of this stuff. This is four inch by four inch. And I think that's gonna make a lot beefier legs. And then once I get it all built, I'm gonna build like a cement, like some cement foundations for the legs. I'm not gonna do it right now just because I, I wanna get this set the way I want it to get set. And I'm not exactly sure where I have to dig the holes. So we're just gonna do it like this for now. Use the four inch legs and then we're just gonna keep it rolling. I'm gonna focus, like I said, getting all the welding done on the bottom because then I need to flip this over one more time and I'm gonna have to get like probably three people to help me do that. And then once it's flipped over, do a little bit more welding on the top. And then I'm gonna have to lift one side, get the legs somewhat installed with the other side, get the legs installed, finish weld all that. And then once I feel like this whole thing is solid, then we're going to start putting solar panels on it. So that's it. I'm going to keep you guys updated as we go. Oh, you're right, you're right. I came back into the merch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Brandon doing it by himself? Nice. Looks like yeah, it. You ain't too strong. Oh! <laughs> Move it again. All right. All right. Bye. Set. Yes, I am. Oh, right there. Hey, Put it right on the hey. front now. Jack stand. Come on, Jack stand, Jimmy. My face. Yeah, I promise you. Oh, 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 Alrighty guys, progress report. We got this off the ground, just sitting on a pole jack. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get the front feet put on. And the front feet are 80 inches tall. So pretty tall and the back's gonna be 96. So this is gonna be the lowest it's gonna be. Also, I'm trying to not step under this until I get the feet welded on, just for safety. I did up using big six ton jack stands in the rear. So we got plenty of support back there, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start welding the feet on. Strong enough to be able to hold the front of this up, but weak enough to where I can still adjust them once the rear is up. All right, guys, gonna do a update on our rack. So as you can see, it is off the ground. So it's off the ground, that's all good. Now I'm working on reinforcing it because if I shake it, it still moves kind of a little bit. It's a little more flimsy than I feel comfortable with. So first order of business is to straighten the front legs out because I welded them flat and there's a little bit of an angle. These legs are turning like that. So what I did to the other side is I cut it all the way here left this side intact, these three sides are cut, and then I bent the leg out to make it level, and then I add some plate to reinforce it. So I'm gonna do that to this leg, reinforce all this, and just kind of go over this thing with a fine tooth comb, weld as much, put as much you know reinforcement as I can. I'm gonna gusset the, I'm gonna gusset each leg with a little piece like that on each of those. I'll show you how when I do that. And that's it, I'm just gonna try to give this thing as much strength as possible, because I do not want this thing to be flimsy. It's gonna have a lot of weight on it. And then also at some point, I'm gonna have to figure out how we're gonna cement it into the ground. That way this thing cannot move. So I am gonna do that in the future. So I gusseted the tops like that to add a little bit more rigidity. I also added these bars right here, each corner, and it has made the rack significantly stiffer. So there is still a little bit of wobble, but it feels to me very stiff. I went ahead and also placed the feet on blocks. I have not cemented this in the ground yet just because I'm not sure this is gonna be the final spot, but we're gonna run this just for now. Very heavy, so I don't think it would move. But in the future, I do want to probably cement it into the ground or at least put something in the ground to secure this to. I still need to go ahead and paint the whole thing, coat it. That way it doesn't rust. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. I don't know if I'm going to add a center support right here because I'm thinking about maybe doing that. But I want to get some of the solar panels up first and see how bad this sags. But more than likely, just for extra rigidity, I will add another leg. And then yeah, I already started putting one panel up and I'm already getting real excited. All right, guys. So... I did end up getting my solar pergola all finished up. I had a lot more build video recorded, but unfortunately the files got corrupted while I was trying to edit them. So I'm just gonna kind of straight cut to the final product. So this is it. The only thing I still have to do left is tie the wires up. And the only reason I haven't done that is because I need to go through and check all these connections for moisture because these were sitting on the ground for so long. Some of them did unfortunately get corrosion. 
So that's really the only other step. I also have to seal between the panels. As you can see, I've already done this whole side. So between the solar panels, I just put some caulking, squeeze them together, and then I went ahead and put the mounts. So that's what the mounts look like. There's the specs on the panels for anyone who's curious. They're Canadian solar, rated at 300. They're 380 watt panels, but you'll never get that just because that's in perfect conditions. So this array, the most I've ever seen it produce is about 32 to 3400 watts on a good sunny direct sunlight day. And in my opinion, that's pretty good for 10 solar panels. It provides a lot of shade. I have tons at work area. I've never had this part of my yard for years now. So it's really nice. I also went ahead and threw some shade cloth right there. I just used magnets to stick that up. So that's kind of nice. I'll be able to keep this underneath this nice and shaded. But yeah, the final product I'm very happy with. And there's kind of a top view for those who are curious. But anyways, this thing definitely checks all the boxes. This is definitely what I had envisioned when I started building it and I could not be happier. I'm finally glad I took the plunge. I was very nervous to do this. All right, over here, I also did add a disconnect, which I've never had before. There is another disconnect on the inverter itself. So there's two ways to disconnect the system. And then I also added conduit and the conduit goes right here, goes around there. I'm actually 3D printing some conduit holders to put against the deck. Anyways, it goes here and then it goes to a drip loop. That way rain can't get in. And then I also built this little insert in my window in order to run all my cables in because before I just had them through the window with foam. And honestly, that worked fine, but it was kind of, you know, not the best way to do it. So this is the second best way I could think of. This is all sealed around and I have plenty of ways to put cords in and out. But anyways, guys, not really much more to say other than, yeah, I'm super happy with how, how it came out. I'm very happy with the final product. And as time goes, I will keep updating it and adding more, you know, little things here and there and also, you know, tidying things up as I see fit. But anyways, that's going to do it. If you guys made it this far in the video, thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And let me know what you're working on, if it's solar related or if it's not, let me know.